Alan Autry. Defying all odds. Alan Autry has been a positive influence on the lives of many people in the city of Fresno. As a young child, he grew up in the fields of the Central Valley. While working with his parents to make ends meet, Autry moved schools about six times. The hassle of moving finally came to a stop when Autry and his family settled down in a town named Riverdale, California. Feeling that his only option out was college, he strived to achieve a scholarship through the one thing that he was good at, football. He received a scholarship to Fresno Pacific University. After two years, he was drafted by the Green Bay Packers as a backup quarterback. When the starter was injured, he explained that he was very ill-prepared to be a starting quarterback and that he didn't have the maturity nor the discipline. He was cut from the Packers in 1976 by coach Bart Starr. Autry began to raise interest in Hollywood, playing in films such as Popeye and North Dallas 40. The life in Hollywood, however, turned out to be too much for him. He began to drink and use drugs to the excess. Autry returned to his roots desperate to find answers, kneeling on one knee and praying to God. He realized in that moment that fame, nor money, nor football would bring him joy and would not make him somebody. Autry's return to Hollywood offered the starring role of Bubba on the show In the Heat of the Night. The role of Bubba was his first big break in Hollywood. The show ran for seven years until it came to an end in 1995. The famous actor's days in Hollywood were coming to a point. Wanting to serve his country, he found himself running for mayor of Fresno. With him, he brought fame and attention to the city. Well, I think that he gave recognition to the community because of his celebrity status that probably Fresno hadn't ever had before. I mean, he was a nationally known figure. He's the mayor of Fresno. Uh, East Coast publications picked up on that role that he had, and he had been a popular star. And so I think that probably gave some better publicity, or at least some publicity, which Fresno had not had before. Through his early steps of becoming mayor in 2000, he won over 62% of the popular vote. And, uh, and of course, it's a conservative area, so he was effective in that uh, category, working with people, and, and he had a somewhat conservative agenda, but really he was more open to all of the people and, and was willing to go out and meet with them and speak to them. While in office, he continued to serve the community. He certainly, uh, his greatest effect, I think, again, was, was giving publicity to the community, making people aware of Fresno, where it was, and, and certainly putting us out in a way that we had not been shown before. Autry truly cared about the people of Fresno and did his best to treat everyone equally in the name of the Lord. He had the ability to stand up for what he believed in and still does to this very day. Though not in office any longer, still strives to serve the people of Fresno through the business that he owns called Autry Entertainment Group, where he teaches individuals acting for film and movies. He continues to be a true inspiration to the people of Fresno and around the United States. From a poor farm boy to a pro athlete, actor, and local hero, Alan Autry's life is nothing but the unexpected.